Hey guys, happy Monday. We're hoping that you guys had a great Thanksgiving. And come on, I, come on, come on, come on. I told June last night, it's like, we have got to start walking. We've got to start doing something. Exercise. It's called exercise. Mm -hmm. I know. Mm -hmm. Hey, Sandy. Hey, guys. So, guess what? We've started a new series. Every Monday, we're going to do a Facebook Live that we're going to talk about color. We're going we're gonna to paint something of a color, so that way you can fall in love with that color. And then we're going to talk a little bit about color theory, what colors would go with it, and also teach you a skill. So, as far as painting, and today we have a cabinet door that Jean is here, is our aficionado. Um, and then guess what? Here's the other thing that we're going to do. On Wednesday, I'm going to be teaching you get this look. And I'll be showing you a piece of furniture that was maybe on Instagram or Pinterest or maybe it's an antique or something that, and people are like, how in the world would I do that finish? And I'm going to be showing you how to do that finish. And then on Friday, Gene's going to be doing techniques. Since you're the technique yeah. person. <laughs> He's so excited. He <laughs> loves doing Facebook Lives. Not. He does not like it. I, he's like, what you give me? Every time I ask him, I'm like, Gene, would you do a Facebook Live with me? He's like, what am I going to get? What you going to get me? That's a true story. <laughs> Nothing yet. <laughs> no rays. <laughs> so... Here's, and here's something else no dinner. fun that we started is that when you share this video, we are going to send you whatever it is that we were showing you that day. So guess what? Your name will go into a drawing. So if you share this video, your name goes into a drawing that we will have day after tomorrow. And then we're going to send you a can of um, free, a free can of Serengeti Gray. Um, not Serengeti Gray. What are we doing? We're doing Geyer Gray today. We're doing Geyer Gray. So sorry, guys. So, hey, Janet. Hey, Randy. As you as you pop on here, tell us where you're coming from. It's just so fun to us to see where everybody is tuning in from. Isn't it fun? It is. If um, I could read. Because where are your glasses? Oh, okay. There they are. All right. So, anyway. Oh, so, let's you. get... So let's get started. All right, so today we are going to be showing you Geyer Gray. Can you see that? It is a gorgeous, gorgeous kind of greeny gray color. Can you see that? It's very much on trend. And we're going to be showing you how to be able to paint a cabinet door with it. But also we've chosen, thank you, we've chosen three colors. Aren't those yummy? Mm -hmm. That one's drying just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Say, Look at these three colors. Cheat sheet on the name. Cheat sheet, yes. This is this is Geyer Gray. It's drying just a little bit. This is actually Serengeti Gray. And this is um, Summer Regatta. Summer Regatta, Serengeti Gray, and Geyer Gray. So a lot of people, as far as, of course, you know, your blues and your greens are complementary colors. But these two colors, this Serengeti Gray and this Geyer Gray are fabulous together, mm -hmm. aren't they? Mm -hmm. Just fabulous. So mm -hmm. a lot of you are wondering, we talk about this so much about colors, and it's like, if I painted my cabinets with that color, what color could my walls be? What color, if I painted the base cabinets, what color would the top cabinets be? So, question, Jean Howard. If you painted, if you wanted to be able to paint this Geyer Gray on your cabinets, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Would, do you like darker colors on the bottom and lighter colors on the top? Yes. Okay. So people ask that question. Because and it creates a foundation. Yes. That darker color anchors the upper cabinets. Yes. Color. You've been listening. I have. He's married to me. <laughs> so he listens. So if you are, if you are thinking about painting your cabinet in a darker color, I'm just going to tell you. This is to die for. Now, this is not the new color of the month. I saw somebody asking that question. This is one of our colors in our Amy Howard at Home. So mm -hmm. if you don't know, we have these hand-painted color cards that we're literally making right now. And they are, we dip our finger in paint. And we make this circle. 
And these are actually hand-painted color cards that that way you can choose your color. And so, but we thought we're gonna start taking Mondays to be able to show you what this color looks like actually painted. So we're gonna turn this around and Jean is gonna show us how to paint the Geyer Gray onto a cabinet door. And then we've got one that's finished and then I'm gonna show you what it's gonna look like if you wanna be able to do a couple of wax techniques to it. Mm. All right, so I'm gonna turn this down. So be sure if you are watching, tell us where you're coming in from and share this video, tag three friends and your name's gonna go in for a drawing. All right, so I'm gonna turn this around, Mr. Howard. You know, the first thing we want to do, now this is indicative of, you like that? Indicative? Indicative, yes. Indicative. Love that. Of the cabinets from the 70s uh, and early 80s where you had that golden oak and uh, everybody had golden oak cabinets. Is this really oak? Mm -hmm. this, this is, is solid this, oak. This is solid oak. Okay. And... Um, we got these at Habitat, guys. Mm -hmm. Habitat for Humanity is a great place to get cabinet doors or drawers to practice on. Always practice. Practice. Practice, practice, practice. So this is the color that we're going to show you. This is our color um, this week that we're focused on, and it's Geyer Gray. It kind of has a greenish tint to it. It's going to dry darker. But Jean's going to show us to, how to be able to paint a cabinet door with this. What do you need? So first thing we want to do, we, we have no idea what's on here over the 30 years or so. And so we want to take our clean slate and go in and clean and make sure we've got all the oils. You know, somebody may have been using Pledge or liquid gold or something like that on here to uh, rejuvenate these cabinets over time. And we want to get rid of that so that we can get our best adhesion of, the, of our one-step paint. Tell everybody, because a lot of people ask me, they're like, do I have to do this? You know, here's the deal. You don't want to spend the time to paint the cabinets only for the paint to begin to lift and, and start flaking off because of the adhesion. You know, spend the extra little bit of time to clean these cabinets of any oil and grease and, and polish or dry rag? anything like that. Yes, please, thank you. So you're just using a lint-free rag? This is just a cotton rag. Okay. Probably grandpa's t-shirt okay maybe gene howard's t-shirt yeah it could be i don't usually throw those away <laughs> so then after we do that we go back and we want to get the residue off just by wiping we don't have to rinse it we don't have to use you know water or anything just dry to, it mm -hmm, we're just coming back and we're just getting the excess off oh so, so question mm -hmm. can i let this air dry or do i have to wipe off the excess i like wiping off the excess okay. that way it doesn't leave any kind of a film or anything like that okay that's a good word um, and again it's this is this is a refinisher's grade uh furniture cleaner this is what refinishers would use prior to refinishing a piece of furniture to get all of the um, the oils and waxes and and uh, something called silicone. A lot of products have a silicone in it, and it will also prevent adhesion. Okay, so we're so, done with that. So, so we've cleaned that. it. Now, a lot of people, if you're not familiar, you don't have to sand, you don't have to mm -hmm. prime, and mm -hmm. you don't have to prep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you, here's another thing that you can do. Notice because this is oak, it's very grainy. And after we get through uh, painting this, some of that grain is still going to show through. And one of the things that you can do, you can go to the hardware store uh, or paint store and get what's called a grain filler. And what that'll do, it'll fill this grain so that when you do paint, it'll be smooth. It'll be It'll be is like that, butter. Now look, I have a question because a lot of these people. You have a um, lot of questions. I, I do. Hey, Renee. Hey, Joe. Hey, Leanne. So um, here's a question. If we don't want, if, if I don't have a problem with the grain showing through, mm -hmm. if I've got oak cabinets, mm -hmm. I don't want to go to the trouble of filling that. That's, that's way too much trouble. That's why I say you can paint. Just clean it. Yeah. Paint yeah, right I, on top I of it. I said that first. Okay, so 
I just want to make sure. Because <laughs> I know there are people going, wait, do I have to do that? All right, so somebody was asking, what were the two lighter colors? So as far as complimentary, this, summer, this is Summer Regatta, and this is Serengeti Gray. I just loved, I love the combination of them. Serengeti Gray, Summer Regatta, and then, of course, the Gar Gray. Mm -hmm. All right? So let me turn this back down because I down. want, oh, hey, Terry, how are you? All right, so Jean is showing us how to be able to paint this kitchen cabinet door with Serengeti Gray, which is the color that we're talking about today. So if you'll notice on this door, on the panel, the grain is running up and down or vertically. And on your framework, it's going on the, this is called your styles. It's also running vertical. And then your rails are running uh, sideways, left to right. And you want to follow the grain with your paint. It's always good to paint with the grain as opposed to against the grain. And when I'm painting a door, I like to do the panel first and then do the frame. And that way my hand's not getting, or my arm's not getting on that panel with wet paint. And you're suggesting, we, you know, guys, we're, we've got this cabinet door laying down. We really suggest if you're painting your kitchen cabinets or your bathroom vanities, um, take them off. Mm -hmm. You can just take the doors and drawers off and then start painting. It's a lot easier to paint it when it's laying flat. Now, why did you start down in the... Well, because... I'm going to, again, I'm working this low area first. Okay. Not that that's not something that I had to do. It's just going to make it easier. So now once you get a little bit on it out there, yeah. do you have to finish it? Or are you just going to keep working your way around? No, I don't have to finish it, but I will spread it out. I don't want it drying. I don't want a thick blob drying. So I'm going to go ahead and start painting this, what's called a profile, which is this, this beading around here. I'm loving this color. So guys, if you're just now popping on, this is called Geyer Gray. It's gonna dry down darker. We're painting over an oak cabinet that we got at Habitat for Humanity. We always suggest for you to go get a door or a drawer. And if you're thinking about changing out your kitchen, paint it and sit it up. Let the sun come up on it. Let the sun go down on it. Let, look at the natural light, and that way everybody in the family can kind of vote on it. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe Mama mm -hmm. needs to make the decision. Mm -hmm. But um, so this is a gorgeous kind of green color. This is very much on trend. It's it's homey. It's warm. It's elegant. But yet it's it's hip. You know, another tip with this, it's better to do two thinner coats than one thick coat. I'm getting good coverage, but it's I'm going to. But I am going to need a second coat because the screen is going to wick or draw up the paint. So I will need a second coat. On one this. thing that a lot of people do is they think because it's a one-step paint, they think it's one coat. Mm -mm. So they put on too thick the mm -hmm. first time. Mm -hmm. But you're right; we are getting really good coverage on this because it's a darker color. Um, the formula that we have now, the new formula, that you will always know if you've got the new formula because it will have a little piece of furniture on the front like that. Jean's like, give me my, 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 my paint. And so you'll know that's the new formula. And so your coverage is good. It's going to lie down beautifully. You're, you're not going to have the brush strokes in it. And Jean is working with a synthetic brush. Now, you'll have some modified brush strokes. It's not going to be near as as prevalent as it was in the old formula. And once I do that, now I'm gonna go back and I'm just gonna smooth out any brush marks or any, I want everything to be parallel with the, um, with the grain. What would you tell somebody? A lot of people at their home, um, they know so you're, you're going to put these now up on some I'm a, pans. I've got a little makeshift. I'm going to raise that up because I want to do the edge of the edge of the door frame. So I want to, I don't want to get paint all over this the surface of the 
of my of so my what tabletop. Would you, what would you tell someone? The There's a lot of people, a lot of people that are home. A lot of people are like they've never thought about painting their kitchen cabinets. They they don't like their oak cabinets. They know how it's very dated, but yet they see this color and they get excited and they're like, oh my gosh, that's so fabulous. What um, would you tell them? Well, as you can see, you know, I'm painting this door before your eyes, and so it's not it's not very difficult at all. I think what you've given them as far as a suggestion to start on this area first, do the panel first, mm -hmm. then fault long clean strokes. Mm -hmm. Make sure you do one um, thin coat, even though we're getting to really good coverage with. to start with and then do the outside and when they get to the outside then set it up on some cans like this so they can mm -hmm. easily get to it i think is really really smart yeah the cans are nice to raise it off of your tabletop or whatever surface you're painting make sure that they have four of the same size mm -hmm. so that way it's even you notice i'm turning this which is good because it lets me see any other area that needs to be that I may have missed. So I see a little spot right there. So guys, if you are catching us live, hello, happy, um, happy Monday. And we are introducing you to a color today. It's called Geyer Gray. It is absolutely glorious. There's two other colors that we have kind of put together to kind of show you. I'm just gonna tell you, if I were gonna paint this, as my base coat color of my cabinets, mm -hmm. which is fabulous. You always want to do your darker color on the base. This is your Geyer Gray. This is Serengeti. Keep my paint. I'm sorry. <laughs> Can you show your sticks? <laughs> this is Serengeti Gray. These two colors would be amazing together as far as your darker cabinet on the bottom and your lighter color on the top. These are complementary colors and they're amazing. And so we wanna, Jean's getting through with this now. As you start to see, it's gonna to start to dry down. Wait, I do have a question. Mm -hmm. Talk to everybody, what do you mm -hmm. do with this intersection? Well, you know, there is, again, we're talking about styles, which are the vertical part right. of the door frame, right. and your rails, which are the horizontal part. And you can see where the grain stops and then it's perpendicular to the to the other piece of wood. And all I do is I see where that seam is and I just take it and kind of feather it and feather it in so that there is a definite stop start. So about how long is it gonna take this door to dry? You know, I would wait, I'd like to wait an hour okay. before I have to, it'll dry sooner but it's it, to the touch, but I want to let it dry a little longer. To allow it to just, cure? Just, yeah, that, well, curing is, you know, we're talking days to cure. But as far as drying, uh, it just gives it enough time so that that second coat goes on nice and there's not going to be any wet paint and it's just, uh, it's, it's better for that second coat. All right, so we are going to... Got a new water bucket well i don't okay. have a water bucket give it to me and i'll go oh, wash it for it. you it. so here's here's the cool thing about it and a lot of people don't realize the one step paint is water based so you're just going to clean it up with soap and water mm. now we have on aprons there's a reason for that because if it gets in your clothes it's, it's permanent it's permanent it's not coming out i thought it was brand recognition <laughs> Because I cannot tell you how many pairs of pants Gina and I both own and shirts that have paint on them. Mm -hmm. And shoes. And and shoes. There's no apron for shoes, but <laughs> they will not come you know, out. You can get those little shoe uh, covers that uh, that they use. In the hospital? Mm hmm. Yeah, well, you, that, I've seen them at the paint store. Uh, yeah, literally. You can, and they just, those little um, little paper material that goes over your fabric shoes goes over the shoes me i paint barefooted or in my sock feet when i'm at home anyway um so hey guys thanks so much for watching now gene just showed you you need to go back and do a replay and watch how he showed you how easy it is to be able to paint this kitchen cabinet door strictly by cleaning it mm -hmm. and 
painting it. So you want to go back. It's that easy. You don't have to sand it. You don't have to prime it. You don't have to strip it. You just clean it with a clean slate and paint your kitchen cabinets. We're going to allow this to dry an hour and then put mm -hmm. a second coat on. Mm -hmm. All right. So if you'll move that down, okay. I'm going to show them once this color that we're focusing on showing you today, once it's dry, can you see it? It's really, really beautiful. It is a beautiful, oh, <laughs> I just hit myself in my face with my glasses. It's a beautiful color. Um, and it, it does go kind of gray, but it's just absolutely yummy. Now, we wanna be able to show you, we're gonna move those out of the way and then we're gonna show them. Um, I get in so much trouble, but I'm gonna go on and tell them. This is who I get in trouble with. Mm -hmm. Trouble is your middle name. <laughs> Gene Howard. Okay. My middle name is not mm -hmm. trouble. Um, next week, we will be introducing a brand new product in the Amy Howard at Home line. I don't know, but I know what it is. <laughs> it's a brand new sealer. It's a brand new sealer that is pretty amazing. I'm gonna do a Facebook Live about it and show you. Hey, Linda, hey guys. Hey, Carlotta, I know, it, isn't it the best? This is the best color, isn't it? Mm, it's I like just, that. I mean, it's fabulous. It's a nice green gray it's color. It's a green gray color, mm -hmm. yes. It's fabulous, it's very much on trend. Chocolate, let's just kind of paint a picture of a room. Like le a brown leather sofa. This, um, you could totally do your walls this color. Can you see the Serengeti gray? Your, um, your walls in Serengeti gray would be fabulous. Um, you could go into blues. It could be really, really beautiful. All right, so now we wanna show you a couple of different options. I wanna show them doing a little bit of cerusing wax on one side mm -hmm. and a little bit of Mind Your Own Beeswax on the other. Okay. Is that good? All right, so we're gonna turn this down. We want you to see this. Oh, and guys, by the way, um, if you if you are catching us live, um, you want to share this video and tag three friends and your name will go in for a drawing and we're gonna be sending out a free can to the winner, um, a 16 ounce can of this gorgeous Serengeti Gray. It's fab, fab, fab. Remember, sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. And you know what? I'm also going to put in a free hand-painted card that we have. You can buy these on the website, but I'm for the winner. I'm going to be putting in one of these for the winner. Um, before, but cabinets that have a layer of plastic over particle board, I think. Leanne, you are in luck. Jean? It's called melamine, I believe. It's called melamine. So... Her question is, she's like, I know you probably covered that before, but what? Oh, what? What's the question? Can you paint melamine? Oh, yes. Yes! Mm -hmm. That's what's so fab about it. Use your clean slate. Use your clean, clean slate. Yes. Yeah, that, those are really easy to clean, too. Yes, they're really easy to clean. And here's something that's really important, though, that a lot of people don't know, Jean, and as far as the longer it dries, the, the tighter the bond. Mm -hmm. Yes, the longer it cures, the better the adhesion. A lot of people will paint, and then within hours they start going home. See if this is going and start, and you know that you can do that with any paint on any surface. Uh, latex paint on a wall, oil paint on wood. It just Allow it to it, cure. you've got to let it cure, and curing takes you know five to seven days to. And the and the, and the longer you, you give it, the more. Uh, not only more durable, but the more adhesive it becomes. Yes, so you can use it on melamine. It's beautiful. This has been tested at a private inventory, um, a private independent, independent lab inventory. in California, and it 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 had the best adhesion mm -hmm. out of any of the chalk based chalk paints. based paints. Sorry, guys. We're not putting anybody down, but we're just letting you know that an independent lab tested our paint and they had all these other chalk paints there and ours in the adhesion tested best out of any of them. So, mm -hmm. but that's what we tell you as far as um, cleaning it well, you wanna make sure you get the surfactants off and that's what the clean slate does. Jean was a furniture refinisher for ever. Hmm. Long time. 
long time. So that way he passes on this knowledge with you guys. All right, so we've we've put some tape here. We wanted to show you, sorry we're going long, but we will, we'll go fast. So we put this half and half just to be able to kind of show you. I'm, lo I'm just loving this color. So next week we will have our brand new matte sealer that absolutely is the mattest. There's no brush strokes, there's no sheen, there's no nothing. Um, but I also love, you don't have to seal this if you don't want to. You can have just a matte finish and you can clean this, but a, a matte finish will have a tendency to not wear as well in a kitchen um, if you've got a lot of children. Uh, we, um, we do have furniture that we've painted. I, I love even doing light fixtures. You can paint light fixtures with this. Black mm -hmm. matte light fixtures are really mm -hmm. into. All right, so talk to us. Do you need a piece of cardboard to offload? You know, I, I was spying that. I think I can probably tear that flap. Okay. There you go. There we go. Thank you. So first thing we're going to show is the Mind Your Own Beeswax, which is a beeswax that has been, um, has a little bit of solvent in it so that you can see the solvent coming out. And but it makes it very easy to to apply to apply. And right now I'm just going to do the panel so that way we can use the frame as the before. And you notice I'm just putting it on. I'm really spreading. You're being this pretty out generous, thin. though. No, I'm spreading it thin, thin to win. Now, after you have put that on, are you going to come back with your rag just a little bit, just to kind of soften it where you don't have any brush strokes? I like to do that, personally. I do, too. What's so great, this goes on like butter, mm -hmm. as Barbara would say. It's very we love Barbara Streisand. sand. It's like butter. We need some more rag, I think. Okay. So, I'm going to take that, and... And if you want to, you can apply with a rag, but the problem is these. Um, what do you need? Um, these areas along here, those low areas, those carved areas, they um, they are harder to get with a, a a rag. So I like using the brush to be able to get down in those areas and then come back with my rag and just take the excess off. And then we're gonna let that dry. Notice again, I'm doing this with the grain. Oh, you still need to continue to do your wax with the grain? You know, just to make sure it gets in there. Gosh, I'm loving this color. Look at this, guys. So you can kind of see, this is the color without anything with matte and look at it with the beautiful wax, which is gonna give you a gorgeous patina on it. Afterwards, love how you got the Amy Howard tape on there, babe. Mm -hmm. Good job. And uh, now we'll take the Ceruzin wax, which this is um, Carnuba wax, I believe, with yes. um, calcium carbonate. Do you, need, you want me to get you another Ceruzin wax? No, I'll get it. There we go. I'm just gonna show everybody again. I wanna put this on here. So this is what we're using now. This is the um, vintage wood ceruzi wax. So easy to use. And again, I've put some on a... Now this, you do need to use a brush depending on the technique. And what we're trying to do, we're trying to get a striate look, more of a kind of a liming effect or wash. I assume that's what you're wanting. Yes. I just want them to be able to see the differences. We're gonna come back with a rag on this just a little bit to kind of soften it because um, I, while I love doing glazing, I want them to be able to see kind of the before and then doing just a, a mind your own beeswax. That the waxes guys are they give you, yes, a more durable finish, but also they're just really beautiful. Um, the patina, when it dries and you just have that gorgeous kind of buffed, um, hand rubbed finish to it, it's really beautiful. 
So if you're just now popping on, we are going over the Geyer Gray, which is our color for this week, not this month. It's just a color that we are talking about this week. Look at it, it's gorgeous. Very much on trend. How easy it is to be able to use. If you share this video with three friends, we're going to put your name in for a drawing and we're gonna send a, um, a free can of the Geyer Gray to the winner. So, do I need to work fairly quickly as far as coming back and softening that? Yeah, you ready? Yeah, because you, you can't, once it starts drying, you won't soften it. But we normally do kind of come back and shadow the edges. Let me get down in that. And just to kind of shadow it just where it's soft but then after it's dried then I can come back and buff it that's when it's so pretty mm -hmm. right now it's just kind of dried down to a matte finish but then that way after um, after it's had a chance to dry that way if you wanted to do the base of your cabinets this color and come back and do the top part of your cabinets in this Serengeti gray it's fabulous together so the Geyer Gray and the Serengeti Gray are the two colors that I'm loving. So while Jean continues to work on that. Okay. that. Beautiful. It's beautiful. I like it. Well, now we just have to do the outside of it. Well, so, I wanted to have a, a... A variance? Yeah, that way they've got a before. And oh, I see what after. you're saying to be able to tell. All right, guys. So um, we're going to allow our wax to dry about... You know, the wax is the longer you let it dry, the better, because the longer you let it dry, the more it hardens. And then when you buff it, it'll buff to a sheen much better, much faster than if you try to buff it too soon. So the longer you let it dry, the better. So Lindsay, we were using on top of the Geyer Gray, we did uh, Mind Your Own Beeswax on the left. And on the right, we're doing ceruzine wax, just to be able to give you a different option. And you can use the ceruzine wax on darker colors like this. It's really beautiful on top of black, on top of A Good Man is Hard to Find, which was named after Gene Howard. And then, um, Tell me you're on, still looking. And then on um, colors like Geyer Gray, which is, it's kind of a green, um, a green gray that's really beautiful. Now, we'll hold this up for you to be able to kind of see. This is the ceruzine wax. This is just mind your own beeswax, and this is the color of just Geyer gray in the center with nothing else. So that really does give you an idea of seeing how totally different it could look. It's wild, isn't it, honey, to think about how, how great a transition, I mean, as far as just using something as simple as wax. You want me to buff? Let me see if you want to buff, buff some of it? Okay. See if it'll buff a little bit. You know, the other thing that I, one, I get really encouraged. I want y'all to see what he's doing as far as waxing this. Hold on just a second. So buffing is, it's just a simple process. It's not supposed to be real hard. It's just a and light see, buff. We didn't let this dry very long, but you can see the, how the sheen that's, that's wild. Up. That is so wild. It's beautiful. It feels amazing. And it's very easy to keep clean. Mm -hmm. Here's the color. This is the, the color before any wax. This is just mind your own beeswax. And then on the right, we did ceruzine wax. Their left. That's their left. So it allows you to be able to see this is just Geyer before. Gray and the before, and then the mind your own beeswax, and then ceruzine wax. But I think more than anything, guys, you know what I really, I guess my intent and in having Jean show you how to do this was the fact that... You didn't have to get paint on your fingernails. No, that's not it. I haven't had my nails done. Part of what I wanted you to see was the fact that it's so easy. So many of you, you're just aching to be able to redo your kitchen vanities um, or your, I mean, your bathroom vanities or your kitchens, mm -hmm. your kitchen cabinets, and you're like, oh, I can't afford it. I can't do it. It's like, I want, I, it's like you can do this yourself. It's very easy and it's incredibly satisfying. Especially if you get your husband to do it. Or help you or a friend. 
I hate Tom Sawyer. She calls me Tom Sawyer. You don't think I'm Tom Sawyer. <laughs> we were dating and she was doing decorative finishes and she said, do you wanna come watch? I said, sure. And she was glazing walls. And I said, well, that's great. And she showed me how to do it. Next thing I know, I'm glazing walls <laughs> and I don't know where she is. Well, he helped me. Uh-huh, yeah. But well, I cooked I cooked dinner for you. You did. <laughs> she, she, that's how she got me. <laughs> with my cooking. Yeah, cooking. With my creativity and my cooking. Yeah. All right, so guys, thanks so much for tuning in today. It is such an honor and a privilege for us to be able to pop on here and see our peeps and our tribe to be able to show you how easy it is to redo your kitchen cabinet. So please tell us where you're hopping in from. Tell us what city and state. We love to see that but also tag three friends and share this video and your name will go in for a drawing because we need to send this paint out to somebody because we wanna see what you're gonna do with it. It's gonna be awesome. Have a great day, everybody, and go craft a beautiful life and enjoy the bragging rights. Thank you. Thanks, Bye. guys.